If you are a subscriber to this YouTube channel, first of all, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Um, and secondly, you might remember just over a year ago, I think it was, I did this um, bust of the Gyro Captain from Mad Max 2 Stroke the Road Warrior from Sean over at the fantastic Sean Carl Studios. Um, at the time, I was in communication with Sean and I said, have you got any more Mad Max figures in the pipeline? And he, I think he said something along the lines of, uh, maybe, but I got something else uh, to do, do with first. And that was going to be Brett from Alien. And, um, well, you know, you've got a Mad Max character and you're not going to make any more Mad Max characters because you're going to do an Alien character. Well... <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that, am I? So, yeah, um, I've known about the Brett progress. I've, I follow Sean on Facebook and Instagram, and I urge you to, if you don't. Um, and I've watched the progress, and a while back, Sean said they are ready to ship. And so I bought one, and uh, it's been on its way, and it's finally here. All right. Now, <clears throat> when I paid for it, it was quite a bit more money than I paid for when I got the Gyro Captain. And I put that all down to being, you know, the world we're in now with all the spiralling costs, etc., etc. Partly that is true, but mainly it is because he is <laughs> considerably, considerably, let's put them nose to nose, will that work? Look at that, considerably bigger than old Bruce there. So here we are, this is an unboxing. I've just taken him out of the box. So here we have Harry Dean himself. All right, fantastic likeness. Okay, um, we'll go on down. We can see that there is some clean up to be done and some filling to be done. Um, I just noticed there's a bit on his ear there. I hadn't noticed that before. It's funny how when you use a, a, a camera, you see things you haven't seen with the naked eye. So, yeah, there's a bit of filling needs doing. Um, but as usual with Sean, fantastic likeness, fantastic detail. I think, and I thank Sean for actually uh, doing this Brett with his jacket on, meaning um, his rather elaborate patterned Hawaiian shirt is mercifully, you know, covered up. Thank you, Sean, for that. Um, what's this going on here, you might wonder? Well, Sean does like his detailed bases, okay? And we've got that here because what we've got here is... The alien's tail going up and around and under. This is fantastic. I mean, when am I, am I ever going to lift this bust up to have a look at the underside? But it's the details there, and I am going to paint it. All right. So that's only part one of Brett. Um, in here, we have another large part. Much like the gyro captain's got the snake, Brett's got the cat. There's Jones. All right, Jones is going to form part of the base. Here's Brett's other arm. Here are his fingers together because he is smoking one of his hideous yellow cigarettes. Also in that bag, we've got the end of the tail. And we have the cap the cap's peak all right so that's in that bag and then we've got in here the rest of the base so that's the plinth of the base which that will be sitting on somehow I haven't taken anything out of the bags yet so i don't know and then uh, jones is somewhere there um the other thing i've got oh here we are i can i can show you here we go look that's how it's meant to be. Oh, yeah, there is a cigarette in there as well. Um, so there we are. And I can also see 
this right is model number eight. Okay, there's my certificate of authenticity. All right, signed by Sean. So looking forward to doing this. Um, I've got a bit of uh, cleaning up to do first. I've just realized as well, he, just like the gyro captain, has sculpted in the pupil and iris. Thank you, Sean. That's gonna make my life a lot easier, just like on the gyro captain. Two things I'm not looking forward to on this build. Number one are the skin tones because I'm just not used to doing, um, you know, quarter or six scale human figures, therefore human skin anymore. Um, I learned quite a bit having to hodgepodge that together. That It's not as yellow as that, by the way. This is artificial light. Um, um, trust me, well, yeah, that paint job is better than that, all right? Uh, but that took me ages to get there, and I've got the same thing again, although bigger, obviously with this one, um, although bless him, old Harry Dean, he was um, rather stubbly, so that's gonna be better there. Uh, the, the number one thing I'm not looking forward to doing is the colors on the Nostromo patch on his baseball cap. All right, so this is the first part. Uh, I'll come back when I've um, repaired things and i um, going to be just ready for priming, or if I want to crack on, I'll come back once everything's repaired and primed. Right, so everything's out the bag. Let's take a closer look. Um, the weather is appalling today, so it's all artificial light, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so just a stunning likeness, especially that profile shot of old Harry. All right. Fabulous. Um, there seems to be more cleanup needed than on the gyro captain. I've, there's a piece missing just off of here, and it's just basically like clearing out areas. Um, there's a bit of flashing here and there, but nothing too bad. Nothing too bad at all. All right. So that's the main chunk of the piece. Then we've got his hand and forearm, which very snugly fits into the uh, rest of his arm. So no, uh, no worries there, no filling needed. The end of the tail, as you see, some flash in there, but nothing to, nothing to worry about. And that fits perfectly as well. So that's cool. I remember this uh, this blue resin from uh, the Gyro Captain. Um, and we've got Brett's god-awful yellow cigarette is there. The peak of his cap, which is just the right size. Um, you know, um, Brett seems to have a bit of an oversized cap with a big peak. And Sean's represented that perfectly. And then we've got the, the, the part I'm least looking forward to doing because um, it's not just not going to be exciting. Uh, and that's uh, Jones, the ginger tomcat. Um, so, yeah, uh, clean up first. I think I think what I might do is uh, give everything a bit of a scrape um, to get some flashing off. Then I'm going to give that, all the parts a nice uh, warm soapy wash get any uh, mold release off then I'll be doing the filling the little uh, things and then I'll give it another wash as well all right I was talking to uh, my friend Ian um, who I do all my podcasts with um, you know in the likes of uh, Blade Runner in character and um, Alien in character and we were talking about this bus yesterday and um, and I was saying about how much bigger it is than the gyro captain one. And this is one third scale. The gyro captain is either, I'm looking at him now up on that shelf. He's not one quarter, but then he's not one six. He must be about one fifth. And I'm thinking, when I was talking to Ian yesterday, I think the reason Sean's gone bigger for one third is he wouldn't be able to maybe sculpt the detail on the cap if the figure was smaller, 
right? So I think this is why we've got a one third scale Brett compared to the one fifth maybe of his other ones. So, all right, I'm gonna come back once I've, I've done a bit of scraping and done a bit of washing and done a bit of filling. All right, ready for the gray primer. Um, what I thought was just here was uh, some air bubbles. Wasn't, it's actually a piece of damage. This part of his Hawaiian shirt had actually snapped off. By the time I realized that that's what had happened, um, I'd thrown away the box. So if it was still in the box, it's long gone. So I've had to uh, sculpt a new one out of Milliput. And you can also see I've had to fill he had a bit of a hole on his earlobe there and a bit of his hair missing, but that's pretty much it um, in the way of cleaning up. So, um, yeah, let's put some uh, primer on the fella. All right, so based in grey primer and then all his face area and skin area, I should say, um, I then primed in white. And that's because I was going to be doing thin washes and uh, thin washes of paint equals translucent. And I've had it before where if you try and do that over grey, you just get a, a washed out, muted, not very nice colour. Um, and speaking of colours, um, this is the bit I haven't been looking forward to at all, which is doing the skin tones. Um, you know, back in the 90s, I did a lot of one six scale figures and one quarter scale busts and I, it didn't faze me doing uh, skin tones but um, then I started doing an awful lot of monsters and spacecraft and I've lost the knack and yeah um, I had a problem the last time I did a bust was a bust by Sean um, which is you might recall the gyro captain here right and uh, I had a problem there in the if you try using like Games Workshop colors, they're all right for a small miniature, but uh, you use Acadian flesh tone or something like that and try to bring it up to, you know, a larger scale, um, just doesn't work. So I remember with, with the old gyro captain here, this is Vallejo paints, um, flat flesh and light flesh, and I had to keep mixing and remixing and um, to, to get any sort of, semblance of an of an accurate skin color um yeah it's washing out again today there is more going on here that's not a solid bit of flesh there there is more going on here i promise i promise but you just can't see it um so i i, I struggled to get that one done um the last time i did a bust and now here with brett i've got a bigger bust so to speak um so but i've got a little bit of a a bit of a different way to begin with in that I was in my local games workshop last week and they now do a color called flayed one flesh which isn't that far off or at least I think isn't that far off of a basic flesh skin tone before you started putting washes on so I've applied that watered down slightly so that's given me this which is the basis to start from all right and also you can see up here, I'm blocking in the colors for his cap. Um, they have the two greens put in. Um, looks a bit horrible at the moment. And um, I've put a gray. I've been researching the old baseball cap and um, yeah, his baseball cap's navy blue. And in some shots, this bit looks the same color as the cap, but in other shots, it looks a gray so I'm going with the gray and it looks pretty horrible at the moment um, but it will be all right because and again something I'm not looking forward to doing the USS Nostromo and the registration number and the lines on the planet and the star and the rings of that planet are um, all yellow so what I've got to do is get a very very fine brush and just take my time and I've got to pick all that raised area out in yellow. Yellow is incredibly translucent. So I've actually got to do it twice. I've got, I've got to do it in white. Then I've got to go over it in yellow. And then if that isn't bad enough, I've then got to do the rainbow striping along there. So uh, two things I'm not looking forward to. Uh, the first one is, is next making up a wash 
to put over this to warm things up and darken things down. Um, not looking forward to it, um, but uh, it's a challenge. Off and running. So, yeah, this is a mixture of the um, Vallejo paints, I said. And um, I still had some Cadian flesh tone, so I've mixed some of that in there. And it, it's a few washes and, um, yeah, just putting on... Uh, um, some of the redder ones around the edges, just putting a bit of red in and putting it around. I don't know how, how to go now. I either put a a wash completely all over it to get into all the wrinkles, um, or I pastel. I'm not quite sure which way to go next. I'm going to have a ponder, and I'll come back. I am so, so not good at doing flesh tones. I think I'm going to stop here. Um, and start putting colour in, some redness and pinkness and that. I think this is my blank slate for me to be going on with, I think. Almost there with the patch. Um, just got to tidy up a little bit. Um, I've started again with the skin. I wasn't happy with the way it was going. Um, I was going more into the oranges and, um, yeah, it weren't working. It looked like Harry Dean had... Uh, Slap some fake tan on. So uh, I've started again. This is a mix of Citadel. Uh, I think it's uh, Kislev flesh mixed with Vallejo light flesh. And I'm going to start all over again. Light is super bright today. Um, I've been pasteling the fella. Honest. I know you, it's not noticeable, but there is colour in there. I swear. Um, there's some pinks in there and there's some warmer flesh tones. I think you can see a little bit just there, but it is there. Um, <clears throat> but I don't want to go overboard because, um, you know, Brett's got very dark skin. He's got dark eyebrows. He's dark around the eyes and he's got all his stubble. So I don't want to go to town. But then on the other hand, I don't want to put on not enough and then regret it. So, yeah, this is a bit of a, mm, when do I start with the... Uh, Locking in the other colours and putting washes on. All right, so um, I've blocked in Brett's hair. It's actually dark brown washed with one of Games Workshop's black contrast paints to stain it black. I've got to dry brush more because that looks completely black. It's not, but um, uh, yeah, I've got to lighten that up a tad, but not too much because he has got dark hair. Um, almost done with the eyes, um, obviously got to pick out the pupils, put in his eyebrows, um, I've done his lips, this is all brighter than it appears, um, it's more subtle than this, honest, um, it's the light today, uh, and then, yeah, it's got to be the stubble and the chest hair, and, um, I'm still, I'm in an iron on what to do about that, whether to use, um, some, uh, uh, washes, to do it or pastels. I think I'm going to experiment here on his chest and work my way up. Oh, but this is frustrating. The light is bleaching everything out and it looks like that's one colour of flesh. I absolutely promise you it's not. All right. There is subtlety in there, but the light's not having it. Um, so ignore that. Um, his eyes are done. I've just put a coat of uh, gloss on. Um, still working away on his stubble and I've splodged on a watered get down green this is the basis of his Hawaiian shirt um, which is going to be a bit of a challenge um, I'm quite grateful that Sean when he sculpted this sculpted uh, the shirt to that point and I don't know if it's intentional or not but the um, the boats on Brett's Hawaiian shirt start just about there so mercifully I don't have to uh, replicate them um, Jones is pretty much done again I've just glossed his eyes so he's good to go um, yeah let's get colorful with old Brett rather nervous now I've started on the Hawaiian shirt so 
um, using this, I think it's War Boss Green, it's a Games Workshop Green. Um, altered it down and put in a, a light wash for the lighter bits of the green. And I've been going in with it neat for the waves. I think they're meant to be waves. So yeah, step one. And it's just about to get even more garish um, when I put the reds and the yellows in. All right, so that's the baseball cap blocked in. I'm just going to put a, a wash over that to just distress it and age it a bit. Um, that's my attempt at the Hawaiian shirt. Very garish, but it is a Hawaiian shirt. But again, I'm going to put a, a very light wash to uh, tone everything down and uh, bring it all together. Started on the olive drab for his jacket, but the next thing to do is uh, do the dark grey uh, piping details. All right, so light's a bit contrasty today, but uh, trust me, that shirt is washed and dulled down and uh, bring, brought things together nicely. Uh, as you can see, I've picked out the, uh, the rest of his jacket in the olive drab and put in the grey piping. They're going to get a coat of known oil to darken them down. And then I'll start uh, dry brushing them, bringing them back up a bit. Um, something I haven't mentioned for ages is the base. I'm going to turn my attention to the base. Um, I think what Sean wants is he done a little dip there. And I think that's where the pinning hole for Brett is to go. So that's where I've drilled a hole. And... Uh, Another one in the base there. Oh, still got a lot of dust on it. Um, I'm going to have that uh, that uh, metal rod longer than that. I'm actually going to have it come all the way down, you know, to the bottom there, so it will touch the uh, it will touch the uh, uh, base. You know what I mean? It'll, it'll, it'll be on the shelf, and it's taking the weight up and through and into Brett there like that. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, seeing as uh, Sean has sculpted those uh, nice embossed tiles that adorn the walls of the Nostromo, I'm going to paint the this in uh, creamy white and weather it. Okay, so then, yeah, basically there's going to be a metal rod come up through that hole up into Brett, and then he's going to kind of like slot in there like that. And you would think that's not much of a surface area to take all that weight and he is a substantial weight um, but of course yeah the, the other thing to factor in is once I put him on that base I'm going to have Jones just here you see that's where his right hip um, sits Jones is actually going to be there here supporting the weight here so it, it's a really nicely designed kit by Sean this that uh, yeah there's not going to be any danger of that keeling over and sagging over in time because uh, Brett will be supported by Jones which is something the cat certainly didn't do during the film. Nearly there now um, that's the the jacket all done I've started blocking in the um, the alien bits and what I'm going to do, can you pick this out in artificial light? I'm doing it in a Games Workshop grey, but then I'm washing it with Nuln Oil and Agrax Earthshade. To, um, so it's not just like a black wash, there's a browniness to it. I don't know if you can make that out, but it does tint it subtly brown. I'm trying to like evoke the, um, uh, you know, on the original Alien suit, it, it was black, but... Uh, the paint rubbed off and the the brown of the latex started showing through so i mean i'm in an r in whether to leave it at that or actually do a dry brush of some brown oh that's his <laughs> i did to get there that's his cigarette just stuck there i've got to finish painting that and then stick it in his hand we're nearly there with that and yeah his uh his base is almost done um as i say i've done it in an ivory color although you can't really tell that with this artificial light, but I've done it in an ivory colour um, to suggest, you know, the, 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 the cream panelling in uh, the Nostromo rooms.
and here we are all done um, stroke a genius by Sean um, as I say I've pinned it as you can see there but the reason for Jones coming around the corner let's have a look at Jones um, he's actually taken an awful lot of the weight of Brett so there we are there he is finished god this is making my uh, hand tired um so pleased with uh, how this has come out um again sorry about the light today it is winter so it's variable um, light quality at the moment um just so pleased sean did this um i don't like doing flesh tones but i'm, I'm happy enough with it and uh, it's a fantastic likeness of old harry dean so uh thank you sean for for producing this uh here's to your next one